We won the game 24-17. Excited as hell about it. But with, I mean, you had to withstand a, a big comeback. That's called the National Football League. Excited to win on the road in the division. How important might you get back to two? Two? Huge, yeah. huge. I mean, just the way that the season started, um, guys kept battling. I'm so proud of this football team, proud to coach them. Uh, they compete and they fight, you know, whoever's out there. Uh, you know, and we were able to finish the ball kneeling down on the road. Well, you know, I mean, he just is, uh, you know, sometimes, and I know, I know Danico won't want me saying this, but he, he gets in his own way sometimes, you know, because he's so talented and he knows how to beat these guys. And, um, you know, sometimes he overthinks things sometimes. And it's just really cool the type of player he is, the savvy. It started in training camp the way that he practiced uh, before hurting his hand. Uh, you could just see that, that he was dialed in and was going to find a way to help us and, and certainly impact the game. Why wouldn't he want you to say that? Well, I mean, I just. It, you know, he get he just wants to help us so bad. You know, what I mean, and each and every week, and you see him, he he knows uh, how valuable he is to our football team, uh, and, and I just I love you know who he is and what he's always been about in this league, just from his journey. You talk about how, how important the how important the run defense was, uh, Motley Taylor up and holding him. In yeah, I mean, give those guys a lot of credit. You know, there was there wasn't a whole lot of seams. Um, you know, we know how talented he is. We know you know what they can do. Uh, when there are seams, and I give those guys credit, we stayed on, stayed in where we were supposed to be, and looked like there was an edge, and you know, even getting the, the fumbles and the turnovers really were the difference. How, how critical was it to get Derrick Henry in that rushing? Well, you know, I mean, this is a good defense. They're they're a fast defense, and um, you know, give them a lot of credit. They made some adjustments there in the second half, and you know, it comes down to converting, you know, and then some mistakes, and um, but but it was good, you know, it was really good, and and Derrick. Ran hard. I thought that uh, the coaches had a, had a you know, really good plan for for how we were going to try to run the football on these guys that hadn't given up a whole lot of yards. So um, you know that looked more like our, our running game. And again, it wasn't you know perfect. There were some plays where you know we'd like to have back. I, I mean, I think that that's what you're going to have to do is try to find ways to win. Um, Coming up with some some huge turnovers, taking care of the football, uh, getting some special teams to be able to create some field position or flip the field. Uh, coming up with huge stops defensively when you know maybe we're not at our best, and uh, and and they keep fighting and competing. What happened at the end of the first half? There it seemed like they've been bleeding for at least for them to look at it to see. If got well, just looking at it quicker, you know. I mean, we 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 have to be able to handle that better and make sure that we, you know, we're we're putting that ball in the, in the dirt. Um, you know, just in being in field goal range and then, you know, just trying to ask that there was a quick, you know, fourth or first down. So, you know, we'll have to look at all these situations that come up and make sure, you know, that's that's one of them where you have to be great is, um, you know, situational football. Had his biggest impact today. A couple big catches in the critical spots in the first Great. It was great. And, um, you know, we challenged him. You know, I challenged him all week as finding ways to help us continue and to understand how critical his – role on special teams is, but you know, where he can help us um, on, on offense. And I thought that you know, Ryan was able to find him and progress through on a goal line. I thought that uh, you know, well, well executed, well designed play you know, down the sidelines. Derek um, made a great block on the safety. They pressured and Chig was able to uh, get free down, down the sidelines. And so it's all we were talking about success and being able to share success you know, and so that Derek made that play go, uh, just like you know somebody else made a play go, just like Jeff Swain made a play go that you know was able to help Robert Woods down there, you know, be wide open in the end zone. So that that that's who we are, and that's what we have to be. Mike, what about the aggression of going play action on that play instead of you know, running? Uh, we wanted to try to win the foot. Uh, are you talking in reference in the end of the game? Uh, just trying to win the game. You know, figured that. Uh, you know, first down would win it. We love the call. Um, you know, got it. Got a good look and uh, was able to execute. And Chig stayed in bounds. Just all the things that we talked about about four minute. You know, so where we weren't great last week in four minute, um, had two you know close runs. And at the second one, Derek and Tori were over there arguing with each other about who he tripped over. And you know, I said, let's just get this first down. And uh, you know, I thought it was well executed. Chig caught it, secured the ball, and stayed in bounds. 
I mean, he just he has to be in a position where he can play as much as he possibly can from conditioning. You know, we, we ask him to play a certain style and be able to play with great effort. And, you know, so he's, he's working on his conditioning because the more that he's out there, he can continue to help us. He's a physical player and, and has shown that you know, he's continued to get better. We ask all players outside of two minute uh, that if you can't play the next play, to uh, to take a knee. You know that that's a safety thing, uh, so that they you know are, are taking a knee and they, they stop the play, and then we can get a, a first of all we can look at you, and uh, we can give you a medical attention, and then we can get a sub in. Um, you know he was in the huddle, you know Cody ran out there, and we just felt like you know. I felt like that we needed to get Cody back out so they didn't stand over the ball to force us to burn a timeout or a five-yard penalty, delay a game, substitution. Um, you know, so outside of two minutes, you know, we're, we're asking guys that if they can't play the next play physically is to take a knee. And I know that guys don't like to do that. I, you know, I mean, I, this is not anything to do with their courage or their toughness, uh, but it's about being able to operate and get the next guy in there and, and, and make sure that we're doing everything we can do to, to look at your health. Like what you see from Gilbert, Adams, uh, we'll take a look at the – I know that Joe was involved in the, uh, in the rake, I think, on the, on the replay. So he's played a lot of football, um, you know, so that's nothing new to him. But, you know, and, and impressive to be able to come in here in a couple of days' notice and go out there and, and rotate in and, and whatever fashion he got and however many snaps. And uh, the guy's a football guy. He's played a lot of football. I think we have to be, and if we're not, then then I have to make sure that we are, and, and that we're, you know, doing everything that we are we can do during the week. But we'll find out how many guys we have available on Wednesday, figure out what the plan is, figure out what the practice schedule will look like, and you know, try to give ourselves the best chance the next week. I mean, it feels good, and, and I, I told the team before that success in this life means nothing if you don't have people to share it with. And uh, we have a whole bunch of guys in there that, that, are, that should be sharing this. Um, so if you ask them about the second half, I hope they tell you what I told them to tell you. Um, we're excited to win. And, and it's just, we're going to enjoy it, and we're going to get back to work. I mean, I just think that it's not a mental thing. It's, a, it's an execution thing. You know, it's making sure that – you know, we're, we're, we're predicting the future. We also were you know, a benefit of some, some great defensive turnovers, you know, short field. So, it, you know, there's a million different reasons. And, but there's good plays in all three phases. And, you know, red zone has to be a, a continue to be a strength for us. We have to play better in the red zone defensively. We can't let guys run free. And, um, you know, we need to continue to, to score touchdowns when we get down there like we have. Um, I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to except for last year, I guess. So, you know, we'll get, we'll get on uh, get on the phone. And I know we got some guys that are on the practice squad that, um, you know, are itching to play and uh, and might get an opportunity. We feel great. I mean, come on the road against a, a good team, division opponent that plays us hard each and every time we play them. Um, feels great. You know, feels good celebrating that locker room with, with guys. Uh, you know, building some momentum here, so you know, want to keep the foot on the gas. Ryan, in a lot of ways, you guys and the Colts are kind of built the same in terms of kind of the emphasis in the, in the trenches, the run game. What has enabled you guys to have maybe so much success um, against them? Well, what is it about the way you guys kind of prepare for division games against a team you know is kind of maybe going to be a bloodbath? Yeah, we know they're going to play us tough each and every time we play them. You know, it's a physical team, it's a fast defense. Um, you know, like you said, they're built built a lot like us, and um, they're a well coached team. So you, you know you're gonna have to come in and play a four quarter game every time you uh, you come in here. And, and today we we're able to to fight our way and come out with a win. Yeah, I loved it. I loved the play call. Um, you know, I knew uh, knew they'd be all packed in there. Obviously, you know we. Uh, 
were able to get a first down, then it was going to seal the game. So, um, you know, excited to hear that play call come in. And, and Chig did a great job of, of getting his depth, making himself available, and then getting down, staying in bounds, and, and into the game. Yeah, it was huge. You know, it was a play we liked during the week. And, um, you know, to get down there, I think that was the first first time we got down there. And, um, you know, he's, he's wide open. And it worked just, you know, just like we uh, we wanted it to. So when a, when a play you put in, you know, for a specific opponent comes and works like that, it, it feels really good. And, you know, happy for Robert. You know, he's done a lot of great things for us so far. Um, you know, he's, he's a professional and he's, he's been in the right spot. So good to see it pay off with, with him in the end zone. Yeah, I know we came out, we played well in the first half, and then, you know, second half was what it was, and we found a way to, to go get a first down when it mattered at the end. So, um, proud of our guys and the way we battled together, you know, throughout the game, and offense was able to to make a play, make a few plays there at the end when it counted, get that first down and seal the game. Do you feel like you need to battle against sort of like here we go again feeling on your side of the ball when this, if, this, if a second half possession goes bad early? I didn't feel that. You know, I felt like our guys. Um, we're responding. You know, the attitude was great on the sideline. Um, guys are ready to, to get back out there and try to take advantage of the next possession. So uh, I felt the energy was good. The, the attitude was there. The focus was there. Um, so I'm proud of our guys and the way we just stayed with it and uh, were able to make plays at the end. You guys talk so much about playing complimentary football. Do you feel defense forcing turnovers, offense converting the first half? Is that the best half you think you played this year so far? Yeah, I don't know. I have to think back through everything, but it was, it was great to see that complimentary football. We talked about it all week, playing together, playing as a team, not offense, not defense, not special teams, but feeding off of each other and playing as a team. And having defense create those turnovers and then offense turn them into, into touchdowns was huge and, and definitely um, obviously helped us win this game. How much did it help? I mean, obviously, a lot of things flow through there. How much easier does it make your job when you get in chunks of yards like it was the first quarter? Well, when Derek's running, you know, everything kind of uh, – Kind of functions functions well. You know, offensive line did a great job of getting him some holes. He was running hard, running physical. You know, running through some arm tackles. Thought he uh, made some really good cuts out there. So, um, you know, he he did a heck of a job for us, and um, he he's done that, and he'll probably continue to do that. What happened in the final sequence, Ryan? You guys were trying to get points at the end of the first half. Oh, we stopped. Got stopped short there. Got into a situation where we run the field goal on, and um, I don't know exactly what happened there, but we weren't able to uh, to get it on in time. Yeah, there's things in both halves that, that we did well. Um, things in both halves that we have to clean up, you know. So, um, got to look at the things we did well, build on them, clean up the things that we need to clean up, and you know, keep stacking wins. At the end of the day, our job is to go out there and win football games, one and zero each and every week, and we're able to do that. Ryan, do you think this team is conditioned to win this way, given the way that you guys have won the last couple of weeks? I know it's not ideal, but what do you think? I know what ideal is is winning. You know, I don't really care how it comes. You know, our, our job is to win. You know, whether it's quote unquote ugly or quote unquote pretty, like it, it doesn't matter. A W is a W and our job is to score more points than the other team and finish each and every week one and zero as best we can. So, um, you know, proud of our guys and, and the way we've battled. Uh, we don't blink when, when things may take a downturn. We, we, we believe in each other. Um, we trust the guys playing beside us and, um, you know, on the other side of the ball. So, you know, every game is not going to be perfect. It's not a perfect game. So. So to have that belief in each other that, you know, defense is going to make, make a play or offense is going to make a play when we need it, it, uh, it means a lot. And we've shown up big in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know if it was hands or belly. I'm not quite sure which one it was. But, uh, you know, heck of a play by Tier. Uh, you know, to, to get his hands on it initially and then finish it with a catch. I don't think I've seen too many of those. So a huge play by Tier and, and, you know, built that momentum that you mentioned in the first half. Well, it's huge. You know, he's done a couple good things for us, you know, throughout the uh, the season so far, and I think that momentum is building. So, uh, he's a talented guy, obviously, and so uh, it's fun to see him, you know, making those plays for us out on the offensive side of the ball. Um, he's he's got so many talents, and 
um, is great with the ball in his hands. So to see it pay off and you know get a get a ball down the field, get him in the end zone for his first touchdown, you know, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, I mean, it just kind of comes to you in the game. We work it, you know, in, um, in practice as well. Just changing your arm angle on different throws, especially in the middle of the field there, right there between the tackles. Um, you know, you're kind of just doing it on air, right, when you're, when you're practicing it. And then when you get in the game, it's just feeling it. You're feeling it out, and, and uh, you have those banked reps where you've been able to make those throws. So, um, you know, it's not a big deal. Oh, it feels great. You know, uh, you know, didn't start the way we wanted to, but we've battled and we found ways to to win. And that's what we want to do: is is be a team that finds ways to win. And I think that's what a true team is—a team that plays together, a team that doesn't blink uh, in the face of adversity and finds ways to win, uh, no matter how the game's going. So, uh, I think we're finding a way right there, and, and we've done it the last two weeks. Now we just got to keep stacking these wins. Oh, it's great. You know, I mean, like I said, division opponent, um, a great, great football atmosphere, tough place to play. I have so much respect for this organization and, and the way they play. So uh, to come play a good team here, you know, a few years in a row and, and get wins is, uh, is a good thing for the Titans. Um, division opponent, always tough. Uh, great win, great team win, and um, glad we were able to finish the game out on the W. I don't care about that. We won. Happy we were able to you know, make plays on offense and do what we need to do to get a W. I mean, the stats, the stats. Um, it's glad we won. What about just the running game in general? Or getting it, what was working today? What did you guys improve this week? I mean, just, just about the will, the want to beat the man in front of you. I feel like everybody did a great job of doing that, and um, just had to do my job of trying to get north and south and get as much as I can out of play. Um, yeah, it's always um, tough when you play these guys. Um, we're very familiar with each other. Um, we got going in the first half, and you know, we didn't really get anything going in the second half. And just got to have emphasis on that and be better. It feels all right. Could have been better. Um, yeah, just build off this win and um, you know, lead into next week and get ready for the next opponent. Um, but it's a great win. How are we able to finish it out? Yeah, what about winning four straight games here in Indianapolis? Um, I mean, it's tough to win here. They got a tough crowd. They've always been solid in all three phases. So um, just credit to our coaches and the whole organization and how we prepare each and every game. What were your thoughts on the touchdown run? It seemed like you made the one guy miss and there was just nobody there. Um, yeah, just um, making my reads and was able to get outside and, you know, um, like you said, made the one guy miss and got in the end zone. So, great play by everybody on offense. The job the defense did to put you guys in position for short fields and kind of capitalize in the first half, what then throughout the course of the game, what, how, how big is that to have that complimentary element? Um, I feel like they, those guys played hard, um, played all four quarters. Um, they were huge for us. And, um, you know, I think I feel like they held it down. And, you know, they were. You know, working hard all week to, you know, do those things. I feel like they accomplished what they wanted to come and do. Do you really see that you have a Mamba Sita sweatshirt on? I guess maybe how big was Kobe's example uh, for you just in terms of having a daughter and maybe how, to, how has that maybe inspired you and how you want to be the kind of father uh, to, to your own daughter? Um, I can compare you know, being the father. Um, just a little nice organization and foundation thing they were doing, and you know, I wanted to contribute and somehow and you know, shed light on, on, on what uh, Vanessa is doing and you know, their family. But as far as comparing fathers, um, I, mean, I can't speak on how father he was. I just try to be the best that I can be for my daughter. Um, yeah, he's um, 
a dominant player, being a force in this league since he stepped on the field. And um, you know, it was good to see him you know, get out there playing with his team. And hopefully he's fine and he can get back out there and um, continue to play. How good was it to see a young guy like Chig make a couple of big plays today and get, and get involved? Yeah, um, always very excited, man. Chase been working hard since he got here, and um, it's always good to see the young guys, their hard work pay off. You guys get the ball back, Chase assaults away from Brian. Kind of take us inside the huddle as far as how you guys approach and what you're saying. What we're saying in the huddle? Yeah, just as, as you go down the field and say, we got a chance to lock this thing down and assault the clock away. Get the first down and we win the game. I mean, that's, it was simple. Yeah. I mean, we get the first down, they have one more timeout, we get it, they use the timeout, and we win the game. It's just like it happens. So. Um, probably so. Uh, you know, it was good. It was exciting to see him finally get his pick. And um, you know, he um, he's in the trenches a lot. So, to make a play like that, I was very excited for him.